Okay guys, here we go, part B. Now, given that the equation, which is the mod of 2x minus a plus b, which I've graphed on the, on the right side, by the way, and also 3 over 2x plus 8, has a solution at x equals 0 and c, find c in terms of a. Right, so this one can be a bit confusing if you're not sure how to begin it. The first thing we should observe is that they're intersecting um, two different equations. Firstly, the one we saw in the previous problem, which is the mod of 2x minus a plus b, and a brand new straight line equation of 3 over 2x plus a. Now, on the right side, I've already graphed the first equation from the previous problem. And what we're going to do now is that we're going to actually draw the second equation, okay? We don't, it doesn't have to be perfect. I mean, it can be between or not. But one thing that the one thing we should note is that they gave us a hint of how the line should actually look like. Firstly, we know that this equation has a solution at 0, meaning that the intersection occurs when x is 0, which is here. So if we were to draw just say any straight line, it should eventually intersect somewhere over here, which we can label this as uh, some coordinate at point C. Yeah? So this is when x is C. Okay, so let me just write x is C there. So looking at this indirectly, if we're going to try and evaluate this properly, we could just use observational skills. We can see that this red line here, the first model equation, is actually, actually has a, a negative gradient. It's a downward, downward straight line. So to write this equation properly, we could technic technically rewrite the order. Notice how it says 2x minus a. This is actually a positive gradient, so we have to do it in reverse. So we can say, okay, so a minus 2x plus b must equal 3 over 2x plus a. That's when it intersects at x equals 0. So that means that the other equation, the same equation actually, but when it's going upwards is, is going to be a positive gradient. So it will be the original 2x minus a plus b. And that's going to intersect here at point c. But yeah, so that will be the same equation. It will be 2x minus a plus b equals 3 over 2x plus 8 at x equals c. Now all we do is just solve and resolve and make c in terms of a. So let's do the first one, yeah? So when x equals 0, what do we get? So we're going to have now a plus b equals um, 8. And well, to make a in terms of uh, c in terms of a, we should kind of get rid of the b. So make b the subject. So we can say, therefore, b equals 8 minus a. So that's one bit done. Now, what to do next? So now we can take the second equation and um, let's see, plug in the values of c and eventually plug in the values of uh, b. So let's do it. So for the second equation now, so equation 2, from here, plug in everything we have, we've got 2x, so we're going to have uh, 2c minus a, replace b with 8 minus a, so plus um, 8 minus a equals, replace x with c, so 3 over 2c plus 8. Right, so let's see if we can uh, sort this out. So first things first, we can cancel 8s on both sides because they cancel each other out. We could um, subtract 3 over 2c across on the left side, so let me do it here. We're going to have 2c minus 3 over 2c is a uh, half c. And plus the 2a is across, minus 2a, we're going to have half c equals 2a. And finally, solving this, you get 4a. And that's it, guys. That's literally all you do. Um, you probably see my previous video, so just ignore that because I did it without using a graph, which is a very rookie mistake. So hopefully you guys learn from this, and um, yeah, I shall see you next time. Ciao.